live, local, late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News at 4 p.m. Coverage you can count on. All new at four, oil pipeline protesters came to Atlanta today to say they will not give up. I talked with them about why they say this is about more than just oil. Water rights is the other key issue. Human rights were being violated. Henrietta Nelson could barely finish her speech, overcome with emotion. She is one of the thousands protesting the Dakota Access Pipeline that is projected to run through a lake near Standing Rock Indian Reservation in North Dakota. They started arresting the people that were standing at the gate. Nelson and others considered the pipeline a threat to clean water and ancient burial grounds. United Methodist Church's Global Ministries invited her and three others to share their protest stories. But it's a shame that we have to fight every inch of the way to exist. Thousands of indigenous people and U.S. veterans joined forces in November to protest the pipeline. In a statement, pipeline officials say the nearly 1,200-mile pipeline will be monitored 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In addition, they say the pipeline will include automated valve technology that will automatically close if a problem is detected. The pipeline was stopped in December, denied access through federal land. But Nelson told me she is ready to go back and protest if the pipeline continues. When there's a call of action, you got to be ready to go to the front lines to support your, your allies. More than 2,000 U.S. veterans went to Standing Rock to join protesters. Pipeline officials say the nearly $4 billion investment will employ between 8 to 12,000 people during construction.